Hi, I'm Kristen Hoffman, and today I'm going to show you how you can correct dimensions that have been posted incorrectly or just need to be updated because they're blank in your system. I'm going to start today within the general ledger entries window within Business Central, and I'm going to find the transactions that need to be updated. In my situation, all of these rent expenses here are missing the department code. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them at one time, come up to entry, and go to the correct, correct dimensions window. This opens up the draft dimension correction window where there is a general section where you can put a description and also choose to update the analysis views if you're using those within your system. From here, I'm going to come down to the dimension correction changes area, and I'm going to select here the department because that's what's missing, and I'll go ahead and put that department in. Now, if I had already posted this transaction and maybe hit the wrong department, that old dimension value that it was coded to would populate in this field right here. So kind of think of it as old and new. Down here in the selected entries area is going to show all the entries that are gonna be affected by this change. Now I'm ready to go ahead and complete this in the system. Rule of thumb is always to validate dimension changes. However, that's not required in this case. What I will say to this is if you have a ton of transactions that need to be updated, it is always a good idea to validate first. So in this case, I am going to go ahead and validate. Once I validate, I'm going to get this window pop, popping up here, which is the validate dimension correction. In my case, I want to run immediately. However, depending on how many transactions you're trying to update, you may want to schedule this to run later in the day when less people are in the system or maybe after hours. I'll go ahead and run that immediately. Let's me know that it was ran successfully. Now, it hasn't fully updated through the GL yet. We've only validated. So now I'm going to come up here to the dimension corrections window. And here we're going to see all the corrections that I've done historically in the system. This number four one is the one that I was just working on and we can see that it's in draft status now. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. From here, I can see that, that it was validated on 5.11 at 9.12 a.m. From here, I'm gonna simply click run. We're gonna get another one of these windows here and, and I'm gonna go ahead and say run immediately since I'm the only one working in my system today. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. It lets me know that it was successfully scheduled and the dimension corrections window in this case is gonna stay open. I'm gonna go ahead and click F5 on my keyboard to refresh this window. And now I can see that the status is completed. Let's go ahead and close that window. I'll go ahead and click F5 again on this window. And now we can see just like that, less than a minute, we've updated all the department codes on this specific uh, for these specific transactions. So hope that helped you. And if it did, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to see more later on on how to transact within the system. Thank you.